Hey everyone, it is Dr. Pullman here from Superior Chiropractic and Rehab. And today I have one of my very favorite special guests here in town. They are a brand new gym and exercise facility called the Exercise Coach. I have Steve and Wendy Grish, who are the owners of the Exercise Coach here in Edwardsville. Welcome. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing great. Right. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. No problem at all. So let's just get straight to it. Um, do you guys mind introducing yourselves and what you guys do for our community? Go ahead, Wendy. Well, uh, we opened up the Exercise Coach in August of this year. It's a franchise that we're um, associated with. So Steve and I have been, we had been actively searching for a business to age into. That's correct, I would. <laughs> Yes, because we're we're nearing retirement and we wanted to do something that would keep us healthy for years and years to come. We we assume we're gonna live a long time and we wanna live well. And, and you know, and, and it's 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 really incredible that you guys are going on this journey because I know we've talked before quite a lot and how this is kind of like a completely new career avenue for you guys all together. Um, and that's you know what I've been seeing in a lot of folks especially who've come through my clinic, is that they're looking for a great way that they can kind of get into an exercise routine that's not going to be like an hour, two hours long. I mean, right. even when I was a personal trainer back in the day, the number one objective I would always get is time. I don't have enough time. I just can't find time to do exactly. X, Y, and Z. Um, do you mind kind of explaining what the exercise coach is necessarily for some folks who just aren't familiar with that franchise? Yeah, we can do that. I mean, I think what we can do is we can kind of give you an origin or a backstory of how this whole thing came about. The, the owner of this is Brian C. Tigen, and he decided to develop a, a, a personal approach, you know, to um, strength training. And through this, you know, he developed a uh, and also another technology that's called Exerbotics. And so with that, I know he... He had a couple things in there where he, the exobotics technology was developed to create a standardized approach and like a customized plan for anyone that participated in it. And from there, he he just found that there, there just needed to be something different that wasn't, that didn't really equate to everyone. So he wanted to kind of create this program that was about, you know, exercising, strength training, where it was safe, it was efficient, and it was effective. Yeah. Yeah, so this um, this technology is something so different because it, it's, um, it's isokinetic. And uh, it's, so the speed stays the same of an exercise. So say if you're doing a chest press, the speed will remain constant. And it's the, um, it's the, pressure that's variable so or a variable resistance so it's like changing a weight stack in the middle of a of a rep and uh, so nothing else out there that i'm aware of can do this so we um we have exerbotics technology and that's what makes us so unique and because we're we're increasing the strength we're, we're able to fully uh, activate the muscle during each set of exercises, then that's why we can reduce the time spent. So we're going to exhaust the muscle. And uh, so it is hard work when you're in, but uh -huh. it's it's safe because we've measured a range of motion on everything you do. And uh, we we do strength tests and you're, you're working with a coach the whole time. Uh -huh. Certified coach, mm -hmm. yes. So we're trying to just overcome all these exercise barriers that are out there. Like, as you said, time is a big one. And, and the truth is, uh, most people don't actually like to exercise. No. You know, no. They really don't. I mean, we all get excited about it for a while. And then what happens a lot of times, uh, and not to disparage any other gym, it, it's no. all good. Everyone should exercise and do strength training. Um, but for a lot of people, you go into a gym and you're just a little bit lost. You don't know what to do. You, you, you go and you have really good intentions. You know, here we are at the beginning of the year and you think, 
let's go. We're let's doing do this. This is the year I'm going to lose 20 pounds and I'm going to get in shape and I'm going to get in help, get healthy. And, but you go to this big gym and you think, oh, now, so what? now what do we do? No <laughs> yeah. plan, no yeah. plan. And, and a lot of times, you know, you don't have the right coach or trainer that's going to assist you and help you. And so now you find yourself lost on all of these machines, not knowing how to do it properly, and which makes it very unsafe. And then you're, I, I don't know if that, I'm sure that doesn't help your self-esteem because you're being challenged by other people that actually know how to do it around you. So you're uncomfortable. Well, at the exercise coach, we change all of that and we help you all that. We, we actually will teach you how to perform all of those exercises safely and effectively. And that, and to couple that up, we'll, we'll, we'll add nutrition into all of that. And it just really is a, is, a, is a blessing, this particular concept in our community, but just for anyone that's out there that's, um, that feels really lost, you know, they, They've, they've been searching for this home. They, like, they want to work out. They want to make changes in their life, but they haven't found the right fit because they're either embarrassed to go to a gym because they can't compete with everyone else there. We're, we're at the exercise coach. We're very small. We're very personal. It's all about the, the special attention that we give that particular individual on their needs. Everyone there is measured and test it based on their needs. That's, that's, that's why it's so special. And then, then an entire exercise program or plan is developed and created for that individual. It's not a generic thing. It is for that individual. And we have a coach that stays with them through the entire session that they're there and, and they walk away from it. It's very challenging. I mean, you could use the word even hard, but it, it should be. That's that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and just for some folks who don't know exactly what isokinetic is, and I know Wendy, you explained it perfectly. And you know, a lot of that technology is not available to the public. That is usually in more of like the university research settings because mm -hmm. it needs to be so well controlled. And that's what makes you unique is that your exercise programs are so well controlled. And then you can manipulate it However, the, however your client's goals are, how quickly they're progressing. And I mean, even when I came by your guys' studio and I did my little demo and go, went through all the machines, I mean, it was intense. It was challenging, but it seemed like it was the plan. There was structure and everything was in control in unison with one another. And that is something that is just not seen anywhere on this side of the river of St. Louis or even probably for quite some distance in this area. So what you guys bring to the table is very, very unique. It's value driven, driven. And even what you're saying, Steve, with how people go to a gym, they don't know what they don't know, essentially, because mm -hmm. they see some guy over here squatting, but they don't know if they're doing it right. They don't know if they're doing it wrong. Right. But when they come see you, they have that one-on-one -on -one attention from the get-go. And then they get measurable outcomes every single time. And that's what really makes you guys unique and special. And I think you guys bring tremendous value to, to our community just based on that merit alone. Yeah, and we do record all data. And so we're, we're constantly uh, updating the material and the, and the person can always know where they're at and be retested and be challenged constantly. So we're, uh, we don't want people to get you know, if they hit plateaus, we're going to reset things. We're going to be right on top of it. And um, and then we really are very actively encouraging uh, whole food nutrition as well. I, it is as or more important than the exercise. And they're both important. So, you, uh, you know, if someone's goal is to lose weight, they really have to do the nutrition part too. And so we're not asking people to do anything crazy or fancy, but we want people to do uh, eat, eat well about 80% of the time with whole food nutrition and 20% of the time you can eat not as well. <laughs> so, how about not as well? Not as well. <laughs> I, I, hear, I hear what you're saying and, and exactly what you're talking about. You know, nutrition is a huge key component 
you can include the exercise, but if you don't clean up the diet, I mean, you're, you're doing some work, but you're not optimizing it, if you will. And that's, what's really, again, what makes you guys special is that you combine the two together in a one-stop shop from the nutrition and the exercise programs that's backed up by a lot of research and literature, which I think anybody in this community is going to really respect. Now, let me ask you another question, because I know with the exercise coach, there is a ton of myths out there, per se. Um, what would you say has been the most common myth that you guys have come across since you guys opened up shop? I think it's that people think that if they just move, that they're exercising. And and I think that it's been, it's been know, eye-opening for you and I to learn that part yeah, of the time. I mean, I thought that. <laughs> I thought, yeah. You wow. know, I had, if I'm checking how many steps I have, yeah. I'm like, well, I... I must be healthy, right? Because right. I'm moving. But that is absolutely not, not true. true. And with, um, you know, the strength training part of it, I, I honestly didn't realize how important that I, I guess I've known for quite a while because I'm 58 years old. And mm -hmm. I, I knew that I had to do weight bearing exercise. I just didn't realize um, how much weight, <laughs> you know, I thought if I you know, did some biceps curls with a little five pound dumbbell. I thought I was covering that. So what, so I wouldn't have muscle loss. I thought that's, you know, and my bone density would be better and it, but it, that's really not enough. It, it has to be a lot more intentional than that. And you have to really fatigue the muscle in order to get changes. So if we're, I guess from the time you're 30 years old, you start losing muscle mass, but it, it is reversible. And I also didn't know that. Okay. So, Correct. so you really can rebuild can muscle and, and change your, and if you have changed your muscle mass and your strength, it changes all kinds of organ systems in your body. So it just, your overall health is exponentially better if you do this nutrition and whole effort exercise. So that, I guess that's the, where I was definitely wrong <laughs> thinking, I'll just go get on the treadmill for an hour <laughs> and, and I'll be, you know, but I, if you're reading a book and you're on the treadmill, you really aren't getting, I mean, it's, it's better than not moving for sure, I agree. I agree but it, it's, it's just not exercise. It's an activity. Right. So, so distinguishing between exercise and activity has been eye-opening for us. Very eye-opening. And yeah. when you're doing it, when you're doing the whole effort exercise, you definitely don't have to do as much. Mm -hmm. I mean, no. you can you can get a lot done in a lot shorter time if you if you go for it. Yeah, usually it's what forty for, at our facility. You're probably working out on a standard rep for an exercise 40 to 120 seconds mm -hmm. and oh, you wow. are and you are maxing out that particular muscle group that you're working out during that particular that particular exercise in that session yeah of that exercise so that is the key because i i know that in the past when i work, worked out or weight trained and this is because ties in some of the myths that you, that we're, we were talking about well i would i would lift anywhere, whatever it was, say I'm, say I'm bench pressing 150, 170 pounds or whatever it is, and you're doing 10 to 12 reps, three sets. Well, what we've learned is that you're hurting yourself too along the way, because if you can isolate a certain range of motion and really exhaust that group of muscles that you're training, it's just so much safer and it's so much more effective. And then we're, we're all about the rest. Resting is so important. You know, if, if people want to sit there and lift weights every single day, well, that's not what we do. We, we're talking about effectively really overloading a certain muscle group, whatever you're working out that day. And then you have to have 48 hours of rest to couple that up with good nutrition and you get the adaptations and the strength that you're actually trying to achieve and the goals that you're trying to make from that. It's, it's unbelievable. It, is. it truly is. And, and that was a big thing, too, with a lot of people nowadays is that, 
you know, they just think, oh, I, if I just go on a walk, I'll start losing weight. Or if I just start picking up this dumbbell, I'll start putting on muscle mass. And you really need to have a game plan. You can't just wing it like, like a lot of people think you can. Like I always tell people, uh, you know, a goal without a plan is a wish. If we don't have a plan, we're not going to have a good outcome. And it sounds like that's one thing that you really hit heavy with your clients is like, hey, these are your goals. How do we plan on getting there if we don't have some sort of structure? some sort of control, some form of a plan that we can measure as we go along through this program. And that's something that you guys really do a lot. And I really love that whole aspect about it. Cause I know at least coming from my end of things, when I was once a personal trainer, I know a lot of trainers who would just say, okay, your goal is to lift weights. Okay. Well, I need you to stop. I need you to eat 500 calories a day. I need you to be walking 20,000 steps a day doing X, Y, and Z, but they would have no way that they could measure it. While you guys are doing the complete opposite, you can measure it as we're going through their progress. And you're probably telling them to eat more than 500 calories a day. So oh, yeah. I love that about <laughs> it. <laughs> and we, but, and um, we, give back, we give them back time. We give individuals back their time because we've had clients that have come in that, you know, through introducing themselves and going for a promo, we, we find out that they're working out anywhere from two to four hours per week, where in our exercise facility, it's two 20 minute workouts per day or per week. So we're saying that you can do whatever you want, but in our facility, you're gonna get optimal results from just these two 20 minute workouts every week. And then what does that do is it puts back a lot of things in your life that you like to do. You don't have to commit that two to four hours per week in you know whatever gym working out here it's it's 40 minutes a week you know and you're going to get great results and we can take people at any age and any uh, state of health so we have clients that are 85 we, we have clients in their 30s so it, it just and it could be post-injury post surgery uh, you know once they have to be able to get on the equipment if they can get on there then we're good to go and we can we can make adjustments in the equipment and uh or in the exercise and we'll meet a person where they're at and the results that we're getting from people mm -hmm. are phenomenal yeah. and it, it can be just the little things that they start noticing mm -hmm. like the uh you know, they're carrying their groceries in and they aren't panting or up and down the steps and they're just, they have more spring in their step. And so it's, it's small at first, but, it, but they notice it. They're, you know, on the floor playing with their grandkids or their kids or they're chasing the kids and they just have more energy. Right. So we're, we want to give people their, besides their time, their life, sure. you know, just to, to live well. And instead of all the aches and pains that are so common that I know you deal with every, every day, oh, yeah. but, but I know that you understand if the, the stronger someone is and the more fit they are, that their life is just improved. Their, you know, their metabolism will be improved, uh, their endurance, their, um, the insulin sensitivity will be improved. And that's, that's so important. I mean, diabetes is a huge problem in this country. Yes. Or more than this country, but it's a huge problem. And we're seeing people's uh, blood pressure go down. There, um, I mean, I can't, we don't treat or diagnose anything, of course, but, but their numbers are better. They're going to get, you know, their regular checkups and the doctors, one doctor asked my mom, <laughs> said, are you actually getting younger? You know, and she said. Which she is. <laughs> I, yeah, I think she might be. She's <laughs> you know? our rock star. <laughs> she is. Yeah, she's there. It's amazing how we can see people. It, it's not a quick fix for weight loss. It is a, a meaningful fix for weight loss, though. It'll take, it'll take time, but we're seeing people just slim down and they come in bouncier and happier and they're just, yeah, you know, it's, it's really better. making a difference. And that makes us so happy. And they, <laughs> so. and they come in with um, discomfort, pain, and some of that through them exercising and becoming more fit. They, um, they feel better. They really feel better.
Yeah, yeah. And, and that's just and that's just really, really huge for our community. And that was one reason why I really sought you guys out because I know at least through my programs, I have people, I get them out of pain, I get them stronger and I give them basic tools and what they need once they leave my clinic, but they still need that extra guidance on, okay, like I'm out of pain, I can get back to exercising, but I don't want this vicious cycle of, I go, I go to the gym, I hurt myself, I go back to see Dr. Brad, I feel better, go back to the gym and I start this circle. We want to mm -hmm. cut that circle and find a way to get these people staying strong, active and healthy without drugs or surgery. And you guys are a great resource for that once someone does finish care about how they can get stronger and quicker and have more energy, control their blood pressure, their blood sugar, insulin sensitivity. And that's just something huge because as we, I mean, as we all know that there is a significant heart disease epidemic our sure. country is ravaged with diabetes obesity is increasing to the point that children are becoming obese and if we can find a way to help stop this process and its track then why should we not then why shouldn't we do this and we can help our community and that's what <laughs> you guys are really focused on is community driven and i noticed as well as we have gone through our professional relationship, you know, we're both business owners as well. And there have been some challenges throughout this. If, if sure. I've had one of my great mentors is like, it's going to be like a roller coaster. You're going to be having some hills and some valleys and going to be up and down on a consistent basis. Um, so if you could shed light on one really important lesson that you guys have learned throughout this whole process of opening up the exercise coach that you think someone should learn some point in their life, what would that be? Wow. I know it's a little question, that isn't is it? <laughs> a great question. <laughs> wow. You want to tackle that? Well, I think our <laughs> most important thing is that strength changes everything. There you go. <laughs> that is our motto. From and, point of view, that's it. Yeah. And boy, I believe that. I do. I, I've seen it. And our, and, our, and our promises for what stronger muscles, mm -hmm. stronger health, stronger self. I mean, that's our promise to a lot of them. And we've seen that, you know. Yeah. And then, um, you yeah, know, we had heard lots of horror stories about hiring a staff. And boy, we really, uh, we, got, we lucked out. We, we have out. great coaches. Yeah. And we're so excited that... Um, I don't know how we got so lucky that we did because they did. they're so good with our clients. They're just they're wonderful and they're so they they want to see them win and improve and and uh, and they're all different. They all have a different style. They all understand the mission and the culture that we're trying mm -hmm. to create here at our particular studio at the Exercise Coach, but they they have all a a uniqueness about them, and you can just see how it will brighten up or even sometimes challenge some of the clients because they really, they're there to motivate you. Mm -hmm. You've come in there and you've, you've, you've confessed to us and you've created a plan on the goals that you want to accomplish. Now what we do is we hold you accountable and those coaches will hold you accountable. And when you come in there, they, you can see at the end of every 20 minute session that each client has really fulfilled that session they've worked out very hard and the coach has done a very very good job to get them exactly where they are mm -hmm. yeah we're blessed definitely with our staff yeah. you guys definitely are and i know you just constantly just praise all of your trainers and coaches about how phenomenal they are and what makes them a little different and how they can help specific clients and mm -hmm. you know I, I mentioned to you i'm i'm in that process of, of bringing someone on staff and i just hope i can just get as lucky as you guys have because it really seems like you have just an all-star cast. So I, I really, I envy you. I, I really do. So <laughs> congratulations on, on having to be able to establish that great culture within that workspace. Um, I tell you what, I, I know I know it's getting late. You know, it's a Wednesday evening. Um, and I don't want to take up much more of your time and take away you guys from your dinner plans or whatever you guys like to do in the evening time. Um, but we're learning a lot about what the exercise coach is, a little bit more about Wendy and Steve, not just the coaches, but also the business owners, but we want to know more about the person as well. So I'm going to ask you just three more questions and then I'll, I'll let you sneak out for the day. Um, if you could give us some insight on what your top three books would be, 
And the reason why I asked this question is because every CEO of a Fortune 500 company like Apple, Microsoft, Coca-Cola, I, I've read a statistic that they read 60 books, not 60, 50 books a year, which mm -hmm. if I'm doing math that quickly, that's a little under a book a week. So if you could provide some suggestions on what your top three books would be, what would they be and why? I think for me, anything that Warren Buffett prints, I want to, I want to read it and follow it. I mean, that's just me old school. You know, I'm not saying I've read all of his books, but I've thumbed through quite a few of them. Yeah, I, I'm currently reading Atomic Habits and uh, I'm liking that. I'm not very far into it. I actually, um, my favorite book though is always going to be To Kill a Mockingbird. I love that book. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that book. <laughs> so, so we've, um, I don't know, I've, since we started this business, or, you know, started because we we sold another business and we both have been still working and I hadn't picked up a book until now for about the last year. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. Been, <laughs> because, we, been, time has been challenging <laughs> for us. Very challenging. <laughs> yeah. So we've been working about, you know, 15 hour days, and, oh, or, yeah. you know, but now we're we've been open since August and we're getting you know we're finding some solid ground yeah. steve is still working his regular job he's an electrician mm -hmm. and uh and i'm doing the day-to-day -day in the business in the exercise coach so we're we're trying to find time to get away and hang out with each other and get back things. to reading <laughs> so i'm more open to book suggestions right now yes I, I, I hear what you're saying. Um, do you mind if I give you some suggestions of books that I have loved? I Absolutely. would love that. Sure. So uh, one of my favorite books is How to Win, How to Influence and Win New Friends. Oh, that's okay. a really I read good that book. One. That's a yeah. great book. Yep. Um, Profit First. Okay. And yeah. then you're already reading it, Atomic Habits. I can't speak enough about Atomic Habits. It's phenomenal. You're going to just love that read. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm actually doing a book club next week on it so i need to finish it this this week <laughs> there you so. go that is great um how's about your top three podcasts that you would recommend to our audience uh, I, I mean i like tim ferris i do i think he's just awesome and anything that he covers i mean i know i mean I, it's kind of a tie between tim ferris and probably joe rogan but i would lean more towards tim ferris only because i just like I just like him a lot. I just like some of the, because the, the people that he has on there and he, he really goes into a really deep technical side to a lot of his, you know, guests that are on there. And I just like listening to him talk about that. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a podcast um, that the founder of our, of the exercise coach does called strength changes everything that's on Spotify and Apple. It's really, really good. I love it. And then uh, I love the Megan Kelly show. That's so fun. Yeah. And um, and then I mean I like Eric Weinstein too. He's just this brilliant economic ec economist out of um, New York. He just he's just so smart. I mean I love listening to people that are just so smart. And anybody anytime he has someone on there, and he covers so many different types of guests that you would just never know would come on a show like that. So I, I like him too, you know. Great, I love hearing that. And I did not know the owner of the Exercise Coach franchise has had a podcast. So I'm gonna have to definitely check out that podcast. That sounds yeah. interesting. It really um, is. Okay, perfect. Um, so I, I know we're, we're, you know, we're wrapping up and I really appreciate you guys coming on board um, and doing this. This really means a lot. And I know a lot of people are really excited to kind of hear your message. Um, can you kind of explain to us what it's like for someone to come into your studio? Because I know you mentioned there are some free promo sessions you do offer. Can you yes. elaborate on that? Sure. Yes. So we we offer to everyone uh, two free sessions because there is there's a pretty serious acclimation period to to what we do because it is intense. So we have them come in and we talk about what their goals are and. Um, and it, this is before they've 
they don't have to join. They just this. We want anyone to come in and check us out. And there's you know there's no uh, financial obligation or anything in these two free sessions. So they'll be able to get on the equipment and experience it because you really have to experience it to understand it. You just you it's we can talk about it a lot, but you really have to see it. And um, so we we ask them to come in for the two sessions, and that's. Those take about 45 minutes to an hour, mm -hmm. each one, and, the, and then we'll just show them our gym. They get to meet some of the coaches and actually experience the workout. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll do a um, range of motion measurement on. We'll put them through a basic strength test, mm -hmm. and all of that goes into a computer that's pretty much, they have their own personal account, personal code. And, and that's where it all starts. Their journey starts with that particular test because that's the basis of we're trying to see where they are that particular day. And then if they become our clients, then this whole story and you know unfolds and they have it all. We have, a, we have an app that actually keeps all this data right there where they get it real time and they can kind of chart their progress as they go through all of this. Yeah. That's great. I, I love to hear it. And I think that's going to, really entice some folks really to come out and kind of see what you guys have to offer. And I love that. Um, so before I let you sneak out for the day, um, if anyone is interested in learning more about you two or the exercise coach, what's the best way that they can reach out to you to get some more information? Sure. So if they go to the website, just exercisecoach.com, um, there they'll have all of the locations on there. We're Edwardsville. So they can go on that. They can fill out, a, you know, sign up for two free sessions on that. They can call us at 618-248-8545. Or they can, you know, when they're on the app, there's a way to text us. So um, we're always available. We're open from 6 in the morning till 8 p.m., Monday through Friday and Saturday, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. They're also welcome to just stop by and then we'll get them set up for their session. We generally can't do the promo session when they just drop in. We would have to schedule an appointment, but um, but we we're always welcoming people. <laughs> always. <laughs> that sounds great. I love it. Well, Wendy and Steve, I really appreciate you guys hopping on here and just talking to me about your guys' business. It really means a lot. And I want to give you guys a quick testimony as well, because I know I've sent some of my clients out to you guys and you know, he came up to me today and he was like, hey, hey doc, guess what? Like I, I, I've been with him for a couple of weeks now. I'm already down 30 something pounds. I feel great. I have more energy. I feel like I'm a lot stronger. And he has, I mean, like I said, he's only been with you guys for a couple of weeks, not a significant amount of time. And he's already seeing changes. So it, it clearly works. Awesome. He's seeing <laughs> results. I'm seeing results. And I just love it. The fact that I can send a lot of my patients to you. And you're going to treat them with world-class care and you guys are going to get them world-class results. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, hey, everyone, this is Dr. Pullen from Superior Chiropractic and Rehab. Um, thanks again for listening and we'll see you at the next episode. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>